Oh, it's a good thing I built the foundations. Minus five to hull strength. I mean, it wouldn't have destroyed anything. I don't know. Oh my god, no! No! Get out of here! See? They're out to get me, I swear. Look at him playing all innocent like I didn't notice. Ah! Oh my god! thing I saved recently. Him I can take out fairly safely because he's already in a hidden spot. And no one's likely to find him. That leaves these four that I have to take out. before any of them can sound an alarm. Emergency, what? we're being raided. Alera, Eld, Juduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. A fatal raid. Thankfully, that was seconds after I just saved the games. <laughs> Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And I just got the rebreather blueprint. Perfect. Oxygen. I... yeah. Um, we might just barely make this, but it's close. Ha! In your face, game. Wow. That it? That's your best? Damn you. Did wait, did the Rana just raise my corpse? Rude. <laughs> I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hello. Yes, what is it? You didn't need that shoulder, did you? I guess not. Ow. How did you not see me? You leave her alone. This is actually quite Wow. Oh, 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 perfect. Look at that! I got all of them. That is awesome. Oops. You'll never find me. I'm a ghost. See, spooky ghost. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Moon button? My grog riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. <laughs> there they are. They're still there. Oh. 
Oh, crap. Why the hell did I... Excuse me. Oh, my God. What are you... Ah. Oh, Well, that sucks. Just like the generator outside. Only huge. What are you doing? Mom, stop. Mom, are you? You got to get out of there, man. Can you move? Yeah. Go down that hallway. Now. Oh, nice. That was awesome. In honor of Greenie. That went better than I expected. Frost salts! Wow, that was easy. Oh. And, yeah. Oh my god, they just... Oh, <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh, it's an... Uh, wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. Oh, you are so lucky. And holy crap, that right goal. There we go. Oh. There we now we there we go. We can't Oh, we Oh my god, you can I didn't know you could search. That's awesome. Oh, this makes inventory management so much easier. Mithril. Wait a minute. No items found. Or Myth Oh, it's Mithral, not Mithril. Okay. Let's send that to Karlak too. It helps when searching by text and typing that you actually know how to spell the thing you're searching for. At first, <laughs> you'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. Um, don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh. This is Not so bad. cool. No, it's water that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. People used to use this place. We're on the right track. I've never heard of it before. 
but it was stream related stuff and it went incredibly well so I'm very happy with the results good evening folks and welcome back to the library of lore tonight we're gonna do some dark side detective and yeah actually the uh, bonus streams <clears throat> the bonus streams at night happen more often than you'd think Vera So we're going to do some dark, dark side detectiving today. Let me hop over. There we go. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy holidays to you as well. It's wonderful to see you here. Where is the game? Here is the game. Let's get the game going. Come on, game. There we go. Yeah, some of the clips are pretty good. I'm a little behind on my clips. I need to add more to the clip show. But we've got some really, really good ones. I hope you're doing well tonight. What's going on this weekend? How's everyone's weekend been so far? Okay, so we were working on Buy Hard. Christmas Eve is the perfect time for some last-minute shopping, right? Okay, um, so we've got a newspaper. This week's sporting news, I see the Spider Moth coach is blaming their losing streak on a hex. I should probably investigate that, actually. Vacuum cleaner. A top of the line busto dusto. Lamp, an interrogation lamp. A length of rope with handles at each end. Garden hose, a long length of garden hose. Cotton candy mix. Just add water for a sticky mess. Popcorn tub, an empty decorated tub, or uh, an empty cardboard tub. Nobody is buying that as a solution. This guy tells me what to do, and folks, let me tell you, it is not always pleasant. Please don't take the last piece of rope. I might need it. Okay. That's actually pretty dark. I would have thought baking an oven was anything but easy to start with. How would it fit in itself? Wow. Wow. These robots make great gifts. Hint. They're like little sidekicks. A demi sidekick. Almost like a sidekick for your sidekick. Hint, hint. I want one. Hint. For Christmas. Hint, hint. This TV has a printout of a newsroom where the glass should be. Catamon, Catamon, she will fight the cosmic star. Her claws are made from tears of moon protecting daylight from Singuri 5. She pledges licks of fury. Boring cartoons are odd. All hail Krampus, the king of Christmas chaos. Milky egg liquid, the taste of the holidays. Nobody is buying that as a solution. There's no way I'm doing that. Oh, I just had an idea. It's a bad idea. It's not going to work. Nope, okay, fine. I can't quite reach it from here, but I can get closer down below. Okay. If I do that, the cardboard will turn soggy. That's no way to spend Christmas Eve.
Merry Christmas, butts and ghouls. Let's mess this place and wreck these fools. Santa's throne. Naughty, naughty little mole, hands off my stuff or I'll fill you with coal. Boy, Buzz sure is acting out today. Round zero for Krampus's crimes. Hey, stop throwing stuff at us. Nuh-uh, you visit St. Nick, then I throw a brick. Shame that it's all fake. For Christmas dinner, I'm gonna eat your teeth. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? It's good to see you. Hey, Sketchy, how's it going? It's locked. Some member of staff around here is bound to have a key. There's a rose bush outside my sister's that's been coming on strongly for the last while. Oh man. I'm glad to hear that. Alright, this is the lady that won't give us any candy because we have to be in shape to stop all the criminals. Having trouble getting your children sticky enough? Not if you give them candy, floos, candy, cotton candy mix. Gloop guaranteed. Just add water. Oh. Okay. I'd need a good reason to turn this into a candy floss fountain. Candy floss fountain sounds like a good enough reason to me. Those decorations are pretty impressive, right, Dooley? That's nothing compared to the tree I'm decorating when I get home tonight. Wait, it's Christmas Eve and you don't have a tree up yet? I think you'll find I have seven up so far, but for tonight's tree, I'm pulling out all the stops. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You know it. Photo montage. Oh, I thought for a moment it might be helpful. It serves me right. They shouldn't sell detonation equipment in a place like this. Friendly dinosaur? Clearly, these guys weren't junior paleontologists like me. Trying to ascribe human traits to reptiles? Typically human-centric notions. What a country this was way back when, when men were men and didn't take orders from stuffed teddy bears. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I know you only made me do those things as punishment. For my own good, yes siree. An impressive star. I can see why Buzz wants it. Nobody's buying that as a solution. That's no way to spend Christmas Eve.
Combining these should give me the reach I need. You received item homemade pump. Okay. That's something. You were right, that stuff is vile. I might not know a lot about whatever it is we do all day long, but I do know my foods. Guys, please don't go on about the food. The colonels might hear you and get upset. I love candy and I'd love to share it with the world, except you, for your own good, of course. I'm so conflicted about this. Perfect for landscaping and burying bad mistakes. Ah, the trowel, child shovel, or pocket spade, depending on your country of origin. Look at that happy couple, a power couple in the world of gnomes. He was part of a pair, but they were torn apart by economical differences. He's jealous of the up-top gnomes, but that's not going to get him anywhere, is it? Wind chimes, whittled by rare Tibetan metal peckers, like woodpeckers, but for metal, and from Tibet. Picked them up when I was hiking with Mildred. Of course, came home alone. She shacked up with a monk. Holy man, my eye. I won't lie, I thought I was buying something else at the time. In my defense, a nightclub is a strange place to sell pottery at 2 a.m. Daisies aren't a fancy plant, that's for sure, but they're sturdy. Add a nice smell and color to a place, too. And can't go wrong with a daisy, no sir. Unless you mean Daisy Miller. Girl broke my heart, that she did. Hoo-hoo-wee, I'll have my revenge one day, you mark my words. What? Oh, nothing. Just flower talk. CD, how's it going? It's good to see you. Don't even ask about the watering can. That relationship still has me tender. How's it going, CD? What's going on? Let me get you a shout out here. Guys, if you are not following Crystal Dragon 22, please make sure you go and correct this grievous oversight. He's an awesome friend of the channel does great content and you will not regret it for one moment hmm I'm trying to go over everything that might require a pump Playing some State of Decay 2. Oh, that's a fun one. I like the State of Decay games. So what are your plans for the rest of the weekend? Nothing else of use here now. Need some eggnog, mate? We have all the varieties. Egg flavored, nog flavored, um, milk flavored? Hmm. 
I already tried that several times. Oh, wait, with popcorn? Well, I could try it. Nope, he doesn't want it. The popcorn is vile. That's the trophy for our award-winning popcorn. Award-winning? Popcorn that least tastes like popcorn. They didn't specify it had to taste good. Their mistake was our gain. To just chill out, honestly, getting ready for your next sleep study on the 18th? Oh, yeah, you mentioned that last time. That's right. Okay. Salesperson. Isn't Christmas great? Chirpy music all season and so many flashing lights, I'm constantly disoriented. Disorientated. I can't recall the last time I saw daylight. Back in a few, but have you talked to the robot yet? It's a favorite character. I don't know that I can talk to a robot. The only robot I've seen so far is this guy. At least in this mission. And he doesn't seem to speak. First floor, as far as you can to the left. To the left. Oh, I forgot you can go back this way. Crap. I'm all about 5,000. What do you want, innocent shopper? I need to get to the roof. Access restricted to security staff and law enforcement officers. But we are police. Look at our badges. Accessing database. Awful modem whirling beep beep woo dial up noises. Badges not recognized. That makes no sense. Yeah, McKing even asked me for our numbers the other day to double check we were on there. He kept sniggering away to himself, probably laughing at how unlikely it would be that we'd not be on there. But look at our current predicament. Oh. Oh, wait. I see what happened now. We'd better find a way to ring dispatch and get re-registered. Got it. Thank you, Aranar. Duly, don't go in there. Oh, so now we're too good to search in bins all of a sudden. Thank goodness there's a map. These places are huge. I always get lost. Duly, the mall is only 20 screens big. Okay. Phone. That changes things. Thank you, Aaron Lar. I would probably have figured out that I could go back to the entrance eventually, but I have no idea how long it would have taken. Wait, there's a phone in the electronics shop.
Excuse me, can I use your phone to make a call? I'm afraid you'll have to wait a moment, sir. I'm demonstrating the information retrieval capabilities of this cutting-edge portable telephony system. It's urgent police business. Not as urgent as sport results. Sorry, the customer is always right. If only there was a way I could get the inf get them the information they're looking for. Sports results, huh? The most boring information ever. This week's sporting news. I see the Spider Moth coach is blaming their losing streak on a hex. I should probably investigate that, actually. Get that away from here. You're going to cost me this sale. Here, use this to find the information you want. Sports results. Woo! Drat, another sale down the loo. It's like people don't want to pay $3,000 for a bit of rubbish tech without it being some ludicrous status symbol. Can I use the phone now? Fine. Dispatch. Sally, it's McQueen. Can you add me and Dooley back onto the very real police register, please? Sure thing, detective. Thanks. Okay, Dooley. Let's go get that robot's key. What now, human? Try your reg your registry again. Fine. Double checking noises and sounds. Oh, you are on there. Good. How good for you. Can we access the roof now? I guess you can have my access pass. I guess. Do you know if the police are hiring? I want a gun. <laughs> beep, beep, bang, bang. Suddenly I see why it's one of Aranor's favorites. It's locked. I should be able to unlock it now. Okay, let's see if there's anything up there we can use to capture that creature. Buzz can be a nuisance, sure, but calling him a creature is a bit harsh. The water reserve for the sprinkler system. The claw is missing. If I want to use it, I'll need to find a replacement. Okay. Want. No chance. That's like a nightstick for your teeth. Gotta keep those smells fresh when you're in the paper for capturing bad guys. have to go to the arcade, don't we? The claw machine will have a claw that we can probably get somehow because there's a kid in it who could pass it to us. That claw might work on the winch, but why is there a kid in there? He uh, crawled in when I wasn't looking. But Dada, you told me to go in and pass the goodies out to you. Shut up. Kids, eh? Say the damnedest things. Hmm. 
Okay, well, it looks like I'm on the right track, but there's something else we got to do first, it would seem. The Butterfly Kisser. The Paranormal P.I. What a dumb premise. Sea Biter. Boys, don't touch them cakes. There's calories in that icing you don't need. How does a digital clock tell the time if it only has ones and zeros? Tell me that. The latest in portable cell phone technology. That's portable? It's huge. It comes with its own carry case, complete with wheels. Out with some food now. Excellent. Christmas abandonment badges. Wow. The fountain that the buzz impersonator is on top of. Claw might work on the winch, but why is there a kid in there? Alright, let's go talk to the robot again. See if the dialogue changes after we visit the roof. Do you know if the police are hiring? I want a gun. Beep, beep, bang, bang. Okay, so the answer is no. They've really gone all out this year. I know, much better than last year's lone light and cardboard tree. You can really smell the plastic off this one. Wait a second. Hmm. No, we can't go down anywhere. Claw is missing. If I want to use it, I'll need to find a replacement.
Actually, where's the gardening store? Don't even ask about the watering can. That relationship still has me tender. Hmm. It seemed like it might be a good way to gather some water from the fountain. I've been stuck on this one for quite a while, Aranor. I think I wouldn't mind a hint, actually. You think Aranor is the criminal? It's very possible. How you doing, mana? I'm having a pretty good day. You are looking to find a new item. Well, I know I'm trying to find the claw. That doesn't seem to be working out. To get to the claw, okay. <laughs> the claw is in fact in the claw machine. Now, something like this is more your style. You can keep it in your pocket, take it out on break, have a little lick, and put it back for tomorrow. A lolly like that should last you a month if you control yourself. You can share one, aside each. And we need something to get to it. Yes, exactly. Because somebody inconsiderately put a child in the claw machine, which is blocking our access. Now, I wouldn't mind getting this star either, but I haven't figured out a way to do that yet. That's an impressive, what's it called? Reach? Spray? Plumage? I can't quite reach it from here, but I can get closer down below. <clears throat> Longer arms, yes. If I do that, the cardboard will turn soggy. There's no way I'm doing that. What? This should stick him in place? I thought he needed a really good reason to turn this into a candy floss fountain. <laughs> Buzz is stuck in the candy fountain. Now to find a way to reach him. It lets you skip a step there. Uh, I haven't just destroyed the game, have I? Robocomp to call 911. Do you know if the police are hiring? I want a gun. Beep, beep, bang, bang. You just missed out on lowering into there with the winch and having Buzz escape you and then having to use the candy. Got it. Okay. Okay. 
I can see that Gnome Buzz is stuck up there. Time to go get him. Now to find a way to reach him. He's right below the skylight. Oh, I see. Okay. Now you need to find out what item you're missing to get into the claw machine. Was it the star by any chance? It is not the star. Then I might need another hint there, because that was my only real suspicion. It's in Ned's. Okay. Perfect for landscaping and burying bad mistakes. Weeping cacti, bred them myself. Well, with Jorge, back in our horticultural days. I don't like to think about then. Such heartbreak. Ah, uh, the trowel, child shovel, or pocket spade, depending on your country of origin. Oh, hammer. A rubber hammer. The soft head means it's perfect for mildly smashing glass or knocking in ten pegs without bending them. Makes for a great camping mallet. Unless you come up against bears, then the soft head will let you down. Sometimes at night I still hear Derek's screams. This might be handy. Mind if I take it? Huh? Oh, yes, yes. Sorry, got to reminiscing there. I guess I must have always just kind of assumed that was another trowel that looked a little different, because I never actually clicked on the hammer before. Okay, kid, stay back. One delicate tap should do it. I knew I liked you for a reason, detective. I better get you home, boy, before your mama finds out what happened. Can I stay a while longer? Well, since the detective broke that machine, somebody has to take that stuff. <laughs> to the authorities, I mean. Think you can handle that, girl? Wait until the cops are gone and pocket this stuff. Gotcha. <laughs> now to pull the claw out. Looks like I finally won something from one of these things. There's nothing of use left here. Emily, watch over those gifts. Sure thing. Hey, detective. Hey, Blood Alpha. You're going to rob that stuff, aren't you? Honestly, not sure. My upbringing says yes, but the blood wolf in me says maybe only yes a little. Like 60% yes. What have you done to me? I don't know who I am anymore. Are you going to be okay on your own? Are you serious? I'm a blood wolf. I'm ready for anything. That's my girl. Okay, Emily, don't seal that stuff. We both know I'm going to. See you guys later. Okay, this should have the machine back up and running. The winch is fixed. Okay, let's use this contraption. And got him. You received item Gnome Buzz. We have him. Now to question him and find out what's going on around here. We can interrogate him. You can be good cop and I'll be how is this guy still a cop? Let me go. We need to find a way to question this guy. <laughs> um, 
This should hold him in place. Tied up gnome. I know, like, free me. We need to find a way to question this guy. Is it pure coincidence that guy looked like the Grinch in a Santa suit? Ah, uh, no, see, uh, here, let me introduce you to the core problem here. For Christmas dinner, I'm gonna eat your teeth. See, these guys are gnomes who serve Krampus. Merry Christmas, butts and ghouls. Let's mess this place and wreck these fools. Stay away, big boss man. You don't like kids. What, you already see through his disguise. No need to lie to you. Clever man, know what's what. Now hop off. So, he's kind of turned a bunch of people into gnomes. And so we have to unknome them. I'm thinking photo booth or maybe robot cop. No? Okay. Photo montage with a tied up gnome. Duly, stop eating fountain candy. But there's so much of it. Hmm. Maybe we give them to the bear? Okay, oh, okay, that's him tied down. Now to question him. Tell me what's going on here. No chance, adult. Me no say nothing. Duh, I need to find something to interrogate him with. Do you have your flashlight on you, Dooley? I sort of traded it. Traded it? Well, last week I was getting the subway to work and I was hungry and there was this busker with a sandwich and he really wanted some light so he could go find a new home in the tunnels. So one thing led to another. Dooley. In my defense, the sandwich was very nice. I should put it down somewhere before I try to use it on him. Okay, lamp's in place. Stop, stop, us tells you all things. What are you? Are you Buzz? Is Buzz and isn't. Is Buzz and isn't. You're not making, you're making no sense. Explain yourself. Krampus bring out worst in childer. That's what Gnome is, badness incarnate. I didn't think Buzz could get much worse. How do we defeat Krampus? What's his weakness? Him lactose intolerable. No likes milk, no likes milk. That. <laughs> Dooley! Then let's milk him. <laughs> That's... There's a better way to phrase that. <sighs> Gnomes aren't green. Yes, they are in this game. And as for you, mister, you can stay here until you've quit whatever gang it is you've joined. Oh my god. Okay.
Need some eggnog, mate? I have all the varieties. Egg flavored, nog flavored, milk flavored. I just need some milk, please. Plain old milk. Don't sell it, mate. But you must have some. It's one of the ingredients of eggnog. Yeah, I have it. I just don't sell it. It's an eggnog stand, not a milk stand. There has to be a way to get that milk without that guy stopping me. Wow. Thanks, Aaron Laura. I guess the fountain is stuck like that. An improvement, I'm sure we all agree. Ned's the name gardening's my game. That and bridge can't beat an old four-way of a Thursday night. And this is my shop built from a lifetime of memories. Most good, some bad, but that's life, right? Good to see you out and about, Brigadier. You too, old chap. After that run-in with old Jerry, I decided it was time to leave that hut and see what life here in the colonies had to offer. How are you finding it? Well, I joined this mall walking club, but all we do is stand around while Rose here gives Roger cookie dough and goo-goo eyes. I need some real action, frontline stuff. You could come teach the Bud Wolf some survival tactics. Fight some wolves, you say? Count me in. Detective, I haven't seen you since you ruined my pre-retirement party. Pre-retirement? Pre-retirement. An early party in case you don't make it through those last few days. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. When I was your age, I was a maverick too. Don't let the rules get you down. Speaking of rules, should you still have your sidearm? Yes, sir. Rules out the window with them. That's my motto. But your gun... Like samurai, you and I, following our own path, making our own way. Could I trouble you for some cookie dough now? Hmm, well, you didn't want it when I first offered. I say, old girl, this chappy's on a mission, no doubt. Needs a slap of your dough to fix a hull breach or some such, I'd wager. Best help him out. Oh, Smithy, you know I was going to share it, just having giggles with this gentleman and his boy. Hey. You received an item, cookie dough. I would have thought baking an oven was anything but easy. To start with, how would it fit in itself? I don't think this guy has any more info other than Krampus being allergic to milk. Being lactose intolerant is not the same as having an allergy. I thought we could maybe cook the cookie dough in the oven. Oh well. Some uncooked cookies. Milky egg liquid, the taste of the holidays. There has to be a way to get to that milk without that guy stopping me. It works in Skyrim. Just put the popcorn tub over his head, then he won't see us take the milk. It's genius. Nothing of use left there. Out of order. Aw, oh, Rampaging Monkey is my favorite game here.
three minute warning guys we have a break coming up in three minutes I guess we can't actually take the star, huh? homemade pumping device so I think it's clear we have to use the homemade pump to get the milk and we're obviously getting milk and cookies for Krampus to distract him sprinkler system you know from up here fountain 2.0 looks pretty nice Well, I have to start a break anyway. I'm going to ponder on this. If you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this would be a really good time to do it. And I will meet you back here in three and a half to five minutes or so. Oh my god! That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog Jog Rog? Um. Whoa! Ah! Oh my god. This way. Oh. Nice move. Oh. Nathan. Oop. What are they doing? Feeding the poor guy to the crabs? Gracias. You got it. Wait, very nice. <laughs> wow! <laughs> They're not joking at all. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Maybe we'll come back for this battle. Ah! <laughs> oh, what the hell? Drake. 
At the edge of this expansive chamber, encircled by a jabbering host of Zaref, stands a massive reptilian creature. Its snout is spattered with the bloody remnants of a recent meal, gobbets of flesh still speared on crooked fangs. Oh god. Very cool. <laughs> this is fine. This is okay. <laughs> this is not a problem. dude is you or us I picked us there's the other connector don't mind when you do that, do they? <laughs> because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Aaron Thor. Unless you're gonna buy that phone for yourself, don't talk to me. I need to make up for the commission you cost me. Mm, no, nothing there. Oh, actually, we can go back outside. It's not the time to go back to the car yet. Need to temp up candy? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. Oh. Ugh, I got too close. My shoes are stuck. Guess I'm barefoot from here on out. Detective shoes stuck in candy. Five words. Take that, Hemingway. I guess it was inevitable that we would end up barefoot in a story called, uh, what is it called? I don't remember the pun they used as the name of the, by hard, that's it, yes, by hard. Do we have to walk across broken glass too? Hmm. 
I was hoping she'd get mad at me for having candy in my possession. I don't think any of the stores here have shoes, do they? We have to go back to the arcade. That's the only place I know of for sure that's got broken glass. No? Okay. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you'd even say, Wait, that's a reindeer. They don't have bioluminescence. Is it a fungus or something? Can humans catch it? <laughs> You're not wrong. Wonder how it would affect my smelling. Yes. I feel like that bear is staring right into my soul. A friendly dinosaur? Clearly these guys weren't junior paleontologists like me. Trying to ascribe human traits to reptiles, typically human-centric notions. A train with square wheels? Pfft, dumb. These robots make great gifts. Hint. They're like little sidekicks. A demi sidekick, almost like a sidekick for your sidekick. Hint, hint. I want one. Hint. For Christmas. Hint, hint. Duly the master of subtlety. Please don't take the last piece of rope. I might need it. Just need some milk, please. Just plain old milk. Don't sell it, mate. But you must have some. It's one of the ingredients of eggnog. Yep, I have it. Just don't sell it. It's an eggnog stand, not a milk stand. Heavens no, not for you. Gotta keep you boys in blue nice and fit. Can't have the crime able to outrun you. Hmm. 
More cotton candy than any one person should eat. Hot dogs, burgers, turkey legs, it all sounds so delicious, I don't know what to order. You can ignore all that. We've got stew. What? It's a hearty winter treat. What flavor is it? Dunno. Can just said stew. I'll just have a soda. Ain't got snow sodas. Only got stew. Fizzy stew. I didn't think it was possible, but I've just lost my appetite. Dooley, stop eating fountain candy. But there's so much of it. I think I may have officially run out of ideas. Yeah, I could probably use some advice at this point. The balcony? I'd never saw that interaction before. The tree and fountain are below us and in front of us. Oh look, somebody is peeing it in the fountain. Yeah, I just never actually, okay, hang on. We're above the food court here. Oh my god. Right over that unhelpful eggnog man. <sighs> we just lower this down gently. Thank you. I now have a vacuum cleaner full of milk. This really is the season that keeps on giving. Milk filled vacuum cleaner. 80% milk, 20% dust. Not to tell you your business detective, but I think most people like the cookies and their milk and cookies to be cooked. Speak for yourself, Dooley. Boss don't talk to adults, only kids. Back off. Hmm, I'll need to find a child that he hasn't turned yet. Emily, can you do us a favor and bring some stuff to Santa, please? What's in it for me? The warm feeling of seasonal goodwill? That's not going to rot my teeth. I need them to fall out so I can get cash from the Tooth Fairy and buy myself a set of metal chompers. Chomp, 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 chomp. Candy. Okay, okay, I'll go see Stupid Claws for you. Uh, she forgot the milk. Okay, guys, I'm here. Now what? Okay, take this to Santa. Sure, I'm loyal to my word while this tub still holds candy. I got you some treats. 
No, Santa don't like milk, only cookies. Drat, I better hunt down some cookies to soak in this milk. Hey, Winters, how's it going? I'm still thinking easy bake oven. But it can't be that easy. Let's bake. Oh, wow. It's that easy. Any minute now. Any minute. And they're baked. Okay, let's cook, soak the cookies in the milk and get them to Krampus before they turn to goo. Maybe I should have waited. I hope there's no time element to this. Yes, come to me, my little small. Come and join my festive hall. Whatever, weirdo. Just eat the treats. Oh, okay. Om nom nom. Wait. Something was up with that food, because now I don't feel so good. My minions, I've made a great mishap. I've fallen into their tasty trap. Oh, noes. Big men go floaty way. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Krampus is gone, but the children are still trapped as gnomes. Hey, what's that behind the throne? Dooley, I was saying that to the children there. Yeah, but look, look at that new thing. What mystery it holds, what promise for adventure. But the children, new thing. Fine, but after we look at it, we have to save the children. I agree with 100% with whatever it was you just said. Now, new thing, please. Going pretty good, starting the day with your stream. It wasn't my intention, but I managed to sleep right through the hottest part of the day. Hey, that's a bonus. It's a vent. Can we talk about saving the kids now? Where do you think it goes? Dooley, come on now. Focus. I am focused on the mysterious, wondrous vent. Dooley. Why do you think there's a Santa hat in there? What? There's a hat. Just in the vent there. That big guy floated off with his, so why do you think there's another one there? Do you reckon that's where the real Santa was hidden? I guess I'd best go find out. Obviously, there had to be a vent. We can crawl through it barefoot. Here, hold my coat so I can move around a bit freshly, for a, bit, a bit freely. Boy, it's dark in there. It's cool. You can borrow my lighter. <laughs> Uh, damn it, Dooley was right. Santa's hat is in here. I better search around and see what else I can find. You received item Santa's hat. You again. A red jacket. He must have come this way. The damned bear. Dave, I wondered if you were still around. Left boot. His other boot. I must be close now. Wait a minute, other boot? Did I miss the right boot? Bring me cheese, do my bidding. I obey. I read down his doom. I was expecting it to be tricky to get the hat. <laughs> Trousers. This must be the right way. What 
I said his boot, so I must be on the right path. Let's bundle all this together before moving on. There you are. What? Oh, the gag. Yes, one second. There you go. Thank goodness. I said I've been waiting for you. I knew you'd save the day. Huh? Because I'm Santa Claus. Now hand me those clothes and let's get out of here. I have 1.9 billion gifts to deliver and we're running out of time. Thank you. Could you turn around for a moment? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Okay, let's go. These seem long forgotten. No wonder this mall is so cold. Seems to be locked. Guess we're going out the way I came in. Follow me. Brr, it was cold in there. Glad to have my goat back. Oh dear, Krampus has left this place in a mess. Mutated children and general bad vibes everywhere. What can we do to reverse things? Hmm. Here, take this magic Christmas dust. It will reverse the bad magic. I don't have much left, so you'll need to water it down. Things no look so good. Who's this doofus? Those kids are counting on you. Good luck, detective. That guy took off in a hurry. He must have left the oven on. Santa says if we can dilute this and spread it on the kids, we should undo Krampus's hold on them. I think I know what we have to do. Okay, this should water down the dust. Now to trigger the sprinklers and soak those monsters. Does this count as a nod to earlier cases, or is it just lazy work? Can it be both? Uh, the sprinkler's water tank now spiked with magic dust. Time to go... Oh, okay, flip an alarm, of course. Here goes nothing. That's the kid saved. Let's go tell Santa. Well done. Now I'll have the remainder of the Christmas dust back, please. Uh, yeah, about that. Remainder? Back? I should put you on the naughty list for that, but you used it for a good cause. Thank you both. If you hadn't been here, this would have been a disaster. Now make Emily proud, yes. Happy to help. Well, I had better get going. I have a lot of gifts to deliver and I'm already running late. Good luck out there. It's gonna be a cold one tonight. Keep up the good work. You too, boys, you too. Good job, us. Case closed. Didn't we forget the kid tied up in the, uh, room there? Oh no, my sleigh! Maybe we spoke too soon. Let's go see what's happening. What's going on here? Well, well, well. If it's... Oh, <laughs> if it's not McClaim. Wow. And Officer Fooley. I'm clamping this man's reindeer for loitering. He doesn't even have a permit from the city. I have one from the North Pole Licensing Department and a note from the NPPD. I'm not interested in what the NPPD have to say. This isn't their jurisdiction. Why don't I take over for this? Cover the paperwork. No thanks. I'll do it when I get into the office. Then your friend here can go through the appeals process there. Oh, look at the time. I just clocked off for the holidays. I guess that paperwork can wait until I'm back. Toodles. <laughs> What a jerk. How will I deliver the, all the gifts without my reindeer? Could you hook your sleigh up to our car and make it fly? Normally, yes, but somebody used all my Christmas dust and I'm left with no way to power it. 
Somebody used all the dust? Who would do such a thing? Oh, yes, never mind. Can we make more dust? Only by finding a kid who doesn't believe in Christmas and changing their mind. We had best start looking. All right, Emily, it's up to you. You have to save Christmas. Ah, oh, she's not here. There's a sign that reads, Gone home early, seems we're out of luck here. She wasn't going to sell us anything nice anyway. What happened? I feel lightheaded. Probably dizzy after his gang initiation. Let's leave him here to rest until we get this mess cleaned up. <laughs> sure, we'll just leave him tied up in a toy store. No problem. Well, I think I went funny for a little there. Must be from poor circulation. How did I end up here? Ah, dang it. I'm all out of milk. Christmas is cancelled, Mom. It's alright. We can make Mama's favorite. Stew nog. Ugh. Ugh. Emily? Well, yes. I wasn't standing here debating whether or not to take over the leftover gifts or not. Is there still cotton candy in that tub? Yeah, but I'm working on it. Well, if it still has candy, you're still in my employ. Come with us. Ah, oh, man. I knew I shouldn't have stopped to rest my teeth and, my t and or tummy. Did you find a child who doesn't didn't believe in Christmas? I did. She's right here. Okay, I'm here. Now what? This is Santa Claus. For real Santa Claus. Hello, Emily. Rubbish. Santa's not real. If I'm not real, how did I know that you sent me a letter? I... they made us in school. Anyone would have known that. What did I ask for? This. Emily received item blowtorch. My blowtorch! No way! Yes way, Emily. Yes way. This cannot be safe. You really are Santa Claus. Look, the car. It's taking off. We should be able to fly now. Simon, hook up the sleigh. Oh man, I thought I was done for the night. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> we did it, detective. We saved Christmas. Yeah, now St. Nick can sort us out with gifts for tomorrow. Win, win. We didn't forget anything else, did we? <laughs> Guys? 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 Case closed. Alright. Holter guys. Dinner with the Dooley family. Start investigation. Thanks for coming to dinner, Detective. My sister loves meeting my colleagues. Dooley, I've been coming to dinner at your sister's once a month for years. And she loves it. Let's get inside before my tummy revolts. Think this one is a lot more straightforward? Excellent. What the? What's going on here? Yeah, Buzz, turn the TV off if you're playing your joy child. Electricity doesn't grow on trees. No, Dooley, the TV. What? I just told him. It's... Alive. Yes. Alive and angry. Mwahaha. The things kids watch these days, eh? What the? 
save me. What? Are you trapped there? Who are you? <laughs> I'm just Yankee or Jane. I don't need saving, but the people in this house do. What are you? I'm a poltergeist, a professional haunter of places with a preference towards possessing and or moving things. And this house is my new home. Why are you here? A team of game developers trapped me in the, a VHS tape. I don't know why, but these fools freed me. And I'm never going back. I want revenge for being trapped like that. An utterly dehumanizing experience. But you're not human. I don't care. I just want an excuse to cause trouble. Where have you hidden the remote control? Far away from here and far away from you, Fleshy. Why is nothing ever easy? Relatable. What do you want? Mayhem. I'm slowly taking control of this house, and once I do, I'm going to crush everything and everyone in it. We better get everyone out of here, do we? Odd, the door's locked. Wah! Tick tock, tick tock. I'm going to crush everyone who lives in this block. We need to find a way to exercise this TV and fast. How, police for a, how polite for a soon-to-be flattened flesh bag. Not on my watch, creep. Interesting piece. Mom painted it. It's called I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Wow, dual reference. You'll ruin that appet your appetite with that stuff, Buzz. All the more dinner for you to eat, then. We need to get this kid more stacks. That. Wow. Ugh, what? Hey, Buzz. <sighs> you made me lose my high score. I hate you. Kids are such magical creatures, eh, Detective? What's going on here? Nothing. Buzz, tell your unky detective what happened. Ugh, fine. Mom rented a video to watch after dinner, but I was bored and put it on. Then the TV flipped out, so I played my game. Where did you rent this video from? Indian Burial Ground Video Rentals, Inc. Um. Where's the tape now? I don't know. Still in the machine, I guess. Did you try to reject it? Why would I do that? God. Other than there being a thing in your TV? God, leave me alone. You're ruining my game. <laughs> Whatever. I wonder if I can just eject the tape. Nuh uh uh. Kazap. Ouch! My fingers. I need some other way to remove it. Good luck, Fleshbag. Daisies are my favorite type of flower. Mine's whole meal. The Colonel needs his fiber. That's vile. Let's see. The workout horror flick, The Exorcist. A story about some vampires realizing the error of their ways, The Found Boys. And the incredibly tame fantasy adventure classic, No Trouble in Little Italy. Wait, these aren't books. This is a hidden safe, but there's nothing inside it. I wouldn't leave anything of worth in a place like that. There's a lot of book thieves around this area. They may steal your valuables by mistake, and then everyone would be upset. Wow. Glad you boys could make it. Thanks for inviting us, Patricia. I wore my spandex uniform so I'd have room for seconds. <laughs> Fancy chocolates. Confiscating those for later? Good plan. Don't eat too much. Dinner will be ready soon. I won't. Just need to borrow these... Sausages? I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Dooley's house would give us a lot of food. Careful now. It's piping hot. I can never foresee a situation where I want to carry a pot around in my jacket. Need some help taking out the washing? Always. Buzz is useless when it comes to chores. Thank you, Francis. Spooky doorway. So, what's going on in here? Buzz must have left the pantry light on. He's forever leaving lights on. Does he think electricity grows on trees? That's not a saying. Um, did your sister get an extension built onto the house? On little Buzz's income? Unlikely. You've got a pretty judgy expression for a rubber duck trapped outside of time and space. 
there's the remote. I just need a way to safely get to it. They won't reach. Even if they did, they'd only make the remote too greasy to pick up. I need something less greasy to use with this. It won't reach by itself. I'm not doing the protrusion, so... Okay. Why is there no actual food in this pantry? I wish I could stop sign. I wish I could. Baked beans pizza because the little people in your life are disgusting. Serial killer. Spot them while they're young. Popular tarts. The breakfast treat of choice for promiscuous children. Let's just unplug it. I don't think so. Ow. <laughs> Take that. <clears throat> oh, we can't leave, right. Does this house really have only two rooms? already tried that in no situation oh actually I didn't try that that's true in this situation is a safe in no situation is this a safe substitute for rope improvised rope okay Dooley hold on to this as tightly as you can I will never let go Jack oh, don't say that she did let go she held on to the promise Hey, let's discuss this over dinner. Right now, it's time to grab this remote. Fine. Dead remote. <laughs> Nothing's happening. I am invincible. <sighs> the batteries are dead. God. No, they're good. I'm just all powerful. Don't look for new ones. Just give up and accept your fate. I need your droid child's batteries. Make it worth my while and I'll think about it. What happened to respecting your elders? You can't get rich off our respect. Aretha Franklin did okay for it. <laughs> hey, Buzz, want some chocolate? Yes. I'll trade you for the batteries from your joy child. <laughs> no way. Okay, more delicious chocolate for Dooley and me. Hooray! Fine, I'll trade. Aww. That's the remote back up and running. Get that away from me! You received item Evil VHS. I don't need or want to go back in there. What kind of guest do you think I am? I think I need to do something with this first. Give me back my tape, you monster. You want to crush us all and I'm the monster? This won't stop me, you know. I'm still going to squish you all, only now I'll make it slow. Hmm, maybe I can do something to this tape that will help me get rid of that thing. Let's just unplug it. I don't think so. Zap, zap.
Only a terrible guest would do that. Hi, Francis. I hope you brought your appetite with you. I did. Thanks for having me. My pleasure, Francis. You know I love when you visit. Your pantry. Have you noticed anything dimensional about it? Well, there has been a draft coming from it today. Is that what you mean? Mm, sure. I'll see if I can fix that. That would be fantastic, but try not to get too dirty. Dinner will be ready soon. Dinner smells good. Fry it up with some onion and garlic and anything will smell good. Huh, I'm sure it will be lovely. It will be better than a steady diet of caffeine and donuts, anyway. Garlic is good for chasing off unnatural things. May I take some? Sure, here are some leftovers. It'll leave your hand smelling divine. You received item garlic. Hopefully we can stink the evil out of this tape. Ritual package? <laughs> It won't work until the juices have baked in and purified the tape. I just have to put this in here for a moment so the garlic juices can melt in and cleanse the cassette. And it's ready. Cleansed VHS. Yeah, give me that. Wait, this doesn't taste right. Blah. Damn you. Bacon, cabbage, and potato, my favorite. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Eat up, everyone. I want my three best boys ready for whatever the world throws at them. Thanks, Patricia. No need to thank me. We're all family here. Ugh, grown-ups are lame. That was a really easy one. That was good, though. And the last one in this particular game. Bates Motel. It's Dooley's birthday, so I'm taking him to Twin Lakes' number one roadside attraction to celebrate. Excited? Boy, am I. This is such a neat way to spend my birthday. I can't believe Chief Scully gave us the time off work. I have a lot more sway with the chief than you might think. You didn't tell her, did you? No, but perk of the job, I told her El Chupacabra was causing trouble out here. Is that a gang? Point is, we're not expected back at the office for a few days, so let's get there and kick back. I can't believe it's taken us so long to come to Twin Lakes' finest roadside attraction. The finest and only attraction. I'm excited to see what sort of stuff has been fished up from Lake Monster and stored here. And I'm excited to find out why they're taken all the way out here to the desert and not stored near the lake itself. Anyway, let's grab our bags from the car and go sort out our room at reception before we go visit the museum. <laughs> so much neon. It's so you can't see how crummy this place is. Uh, nowhere my best buddy brings me for my birthday could be crummy. I love that it's the Bates Motel. I like that. We should get our bags out of the car first. Dooley, why did you bring a lamp? We're only here for the night, so I figured I'd pack light. Just... <laughs> Lawkeeper Shark Senaki just advanced. 24 months. Libraries make shush happen. Less than three. Shark, how's it going? It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for two years of support. That's amazing. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. What's going on? Just that and some power supplements in case I want to work out while we're here. You moved. How did the move go? I love you, buddy. Don't ever change. I try not to. It's why I'm wearing my uniform on holidays. Luggage. I think we have all we need from here.
What are you watching? None of your business, that's what. Eh, caught that fish myself. You ain't never caught one that big, have you? No, that's for sure. The desert, a one-stop destination for all your poorly considered spiritual journeys. Hey, that water's not for drinking. Really? What do I look like, a unicorn to you? Of course, really. It's my water. You want water? You go to the diner next door. That ain't for no customer's use. It's for when I want to fax my mud up, make sure she's fed the cat. She never remembers to feed the damn cat. Every night I come home to it screaming at her and screaming and her screaming at it. Just feed the damn cat, Ma. Why are you using a fax machine for that? I don't want to talk to her. Don't want to talk to you either. Relatable. Hey, close the freaking door. You're letting all the sand in. Why are you here anyway? Stressful. Had COVID for 10 days. Oh, oh, that sucks. I'm very sorry. Before moving, so you were exhausted and late to pack. Ugh. I hope you're feeling better now. Then you're in the wrong place, moron. This here is the motel, and you should have been able to see that from the motel sign out front. Not so good at the detectiving for a detective, eh? Attraction is back out of the main road, then follow the sign. You'll know you're near and on account of the localized sandstorm. Localized sandstorm? That's what I said, ain't it? Now, you think that's a smart guy like you can handle all that? We have a room booked here. So you're the guys. I was wondering if you were going to turn up. It's late. You're late. You're in room two. Thanks. Don't thank me. I didn't clean the place out after the last guest. Great. Hmm. I'm glad this place is aircon. It's so warm in the desert. Eh, stop taking all my cool air. Your room has its own cool air. Go breathe in there. You're raising the temperature level in here. Mystery door. Hey, wise guys. Where is it you think you're going? In there is for golden ticket holders. Do you sold a golden ticket? No? Thought not. It's full of out-of-date shampoo and toothpaste. All the food items are gone. Doesn't look like it's all that well-maintained. Much like all non-military services in this country. Oh, look, there's a bag of cheese puffs in the slot. Might as well take it. These things never go off. Yes, and happy to have finally have the internet up. So good to catch the stream, but no fiber here. Oh, no. Well, at least you get a connection, right? Maybe they'll get fiber in your area soon. This is us. Let's unlock it and go in. Oh. Here we are. Finally, I feel like we've been walking forever and seeing nothing. Okay, this is us. Let's dump our bags. I've seen these before. It's the AI that controls the ship. Hello? Are you there? They must have let its battery run down. Good. I don't want it watching me sleep. This is not connected to anything. I guess we're sleeping with the lights on. We have half a phone. But is the phone half empty or half full? Thank goodness there's aircon. This desert heat would be stifling otherwise. I don't think I could stay indoors without it. Seems like a good place to put our bags. There's a note saying, I owe you one Bible signed Pastor Farrelly. Okay, that's us settled in. Shall we go see the attraction now? Yes, finally. It's like a processed torpedo coming right from my heart. I hope the burgers here are as good as they look. Are they ever? 
Not in Twin Lakes, honey. The mayor ruled all food has to be worse than advertised. Keeps the population dissatisfied. Mustard and ketchup, the two genders. Perfect for carrying meals, hitting muggers on the head, and impromptu games of frisbee. I need some of those to wipe the drool from my mouth. How is it? It's rats and mice, you know. Proper pastry. Right, of course. It's all that stuff. Of course it is. Welcome, boys. Can I fix you up a little something to eat? Are you the boss here? I surely am, though it's only me and Klaus and we're closed off season, so it's not that fancy a setup. Keeps my lights on and this workshop running, so... Wait, forget I said anything. Are you linked to the motel? Gracious, no. I don't think Marvin would want to work with others. He's not what you'd call a people person. Why is Narvin in a public-facing job? Way I heard it, family business. His mom fished, his pa ran the place. He got stuck with it for some reason or another, but I think he likes the power. I think he wanted to get his hands on the real abuse of authority and become police, but it didn't work out. Hey, if they'd given me a shrug animation, this is when I'd use it. Wow. Y'all come back now, you hear? All right, choppers. Choppers? It's rhyming slang for coppers. Is it? I don't know. Try to butter churn it. Learn it. Right. Doesn't sound like it's going all that well. No. What brings you out here? Trying to promote our roadshow. Lady Farnival's Frivolous Carnivals. Wait, is that slang or what it's called? I don't know anymore. See you later, Perspective. Order whatever you want, boys. Yes. But remember, the cook only really knows how to bake cookies. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> so how's everyone doing today? What have you got planned for the rest of your weekend, Shark? Hey, I know you. You're Santa Claus. Eh, no, I'm not. I'm somebody else. Yes. Somebody else entirely. What are you doing here? I'm just a guy with bills to pay, just like you. Heating bills, am I right? Maybe. Season's greetings. Whatever they might be. Don't I know you? Call Santa out in the diner. Klaus the cook, yes. Did you know that outside of American people that outside of America people don't call this jelly, they call it jam. And jelly is what we call jello. Here jam means stuck, but it also but also there it means stuck as well as jelly. Language is zany. Yeah, I'd hate to be a non-American trying to capture even a loose glimpse of their culture. Well, as us Americans are always saying, when in Rome, Monday morning quarterback. I could not agree more. Syrup. A jar of maple syrup. Now I just need a stack of pancakes. This could work well as a makeshift glue. Not a chance. I know what you're like, young fr young Frella, because I've never met you before. Irish Game Studio, yes. I guess a place like this could never have too many sauces. Some yeasts for making burger buns and other stuff rise and expand. My desire for a burger is rising and expanding as we stand here. Maybe I should... Oh, oh, hold it there. You can't just take my yeast. I need it for making Christmassy and uh, other more year-long types of cakes. Some weighing scales. They don't look used. I'm an artist. I guess the amounts. And the elves help. I mean, Merry Cookmas. Oh, rat. It's full of Christmas cookies. It's my signature dish. I think we should check it for clues. Seems to be broken. I hope no critters get in here. Me too. We'd have to close down and wait for fumigation if they did. 
a shiny food blender for sauces and shakes, and seasonal items such as eggnog, just an example. Two and a half minutes, guys. We will have a break in two and a half mi minutes. Vent into the kitchen. Hey there, Lutz. Whoa, fast one, aren't you? Standard dinner waste, or diner waste. An abandoned car. Looks like there's a discarded cross wrench in the trunk. I prefer my wrench is happy. Let's take it and cheer it up. Wow, I wonder how many people these days actually get that. You don't hear cross used that way very often anymore. Wonder if it's more common outside of North America? Could be. Ooh, there's a swimming pool. This brings back bad memories. Are you going to clean the donut crumbs out of the car finally? Dooley, you left those crumbs there. Is that a no then? It's like a witch's broom for a damper kind of witch. The circuit breaker for the motel. This must be where the motel heats its water and rooms. Cool too, I guess. A bucket of highly chlorinated water from the pool. You want to watch that stuff. They say it's good for your teeth, but really it's so the sheeple don't rise up against the government. Dooley, you're thinking of fluoride, which is not used for mind control. Also, you shouldn't be putting chlorine anywhere near your mouth. It's toxic. Oh, that might explain the horrible taste in my mouth each morning. Alright guys, I need to take a quick break. So, if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this is a very good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five minutes. Yara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I'm speculating whether... If you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Lived. Take that jerk. Time till detonation. Oh, I forgot that detail. We're on a timer. Visual on the uh, if I had to Your hazard time. a guess, based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. Lilac and gooseberries. Okay, I'm back. 
you're back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and... Even the game knows I'm back. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron Lohr. That was amazing timing, yes. <laughs> oh, God. No! <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> Didn't work so well. Now ain't this. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! Nice. Wow. That was more spectacular than I'd hoped. What? What? Oh. Excuse me. It's time for a hard reset. Okay, I am back. What are you doing out here at this hour? Thank you, Aranor. Sunbathing. It's nighttime. I don't want to get sunburned. Daytime is when the rays are out hunting. Look at those flies go. Probably dry, drying themselves off after a swim. Just look at that water. Chemical Blue is the name, I think. Is there anywhere else we can go? No? Can we not visit the attraction? Oh, hang on a second. Do I have to? Yes. I'm not sure that's going to achieve anything. And we're in. I don't know what I want to turn off here. Not us. We're one over. Not us. We're one over. Thank you, Mana. Thank you, Winters. Exit sign? Oh. Wow, okay. That works. A carnival is coming to Twin Lakes? What are we doing at this dump? I mean, thanks for the thoughtful birthday trip. It's a shame the signs are the fanciest part of this place. Uh, I didn't think it was this much of a walk. It'll be good for us. Hmm, I wonder what that haze in the distance is. What's going on here? 
trout of this world. I think it's part of the attraction. I don't, Dooley, I don't. It's a sandstorm, but why is it centered on the attraction? Does this mean? Yes, Dooley, a case to investigate. Say it isn't so. There's a sandstorm centered on the attraction's entrance. If we want to get inside to investigate, we'll need to find a way to block it. We can't get in while that sandstorm is blocking the way. We need to cut the storm off. The information stand seems to be closed down because of the storm. I wonder if this could block the wind causing that sandstorm. Maybe we can block the sandstorm with this. Uh, perhaps, but how do we hop in and try it? Yes, you have to. Maybe need Kyo. Oh, whoops. Ruff, ruff. Look, detective, he's waving. A hill made of ants. Close, buddy. Close. For once, I'm glad to see you, Moon. It'd be very dark if we were out here on our own. Looks like a football. Just don't kick it. Nothing like that dry spring desert air. You can really feel the sand in your nostrils. A trash can full of old burrito wrappers and half full energy drink cans. That's a potent drink. It lets you see sounds and hear your heart beatbox. I hope I never have to drink that. Yeah, no. You received item energy drink. Oh God. Where can I get the keys for that truck out front? Does this here place look to you like a carnival? Sorry? I asked you, does this place look like a carnival? No. Then why do you think I own a carnival advertising truck? It belongs to some other poor schmuck staying here. Hmm. It's too dark to see anything inside. Maybe we should close the curtains. No, us were one over. Oh, it's got to be Seamus, right? Maybe not. I can't take it, huh? I think we're gonna need this dust buster once we shut off the storm and have to clear the doorway. I can't believe all you brought was protein supplements. Really? Are you sure you can't believe it? Actually, yeah, I can believe it. Want some? I got enough to share. <sighs> Fine. Yay. Dooley's protein supplements. Dooley, these supplements you take, they're meant as a full diet replacement. And? 
you eat almost twice as much as me as well as taking them. That's a serving suggestion. Suggestion. You don't have to do it. Shaman energy drink for a higher plane of thirst distance. Wow. What kind of marketing rubbish is thirst distance? I don't know, but I want some. Contains no cheese. Oh. Hang on. No. If I just give the cheesy puffs to the rat, then I'll be down treats, but not up a rat. Why do I want a rat? Now it's an abandoned and empty car. to do right now. Wait a second. Maybe the diner patron is the guy with the truck. Alright, choppers. Is that your truck out front? My what? Your truck. You're a rubber duck? Oh yeah, my rubber duck. It's parked out on the indecipherable code. Indecipherable code. Road? Yup. Can I borrow the uh, bee's knees? Ooh, if you want the bee's knees, then I'll want something in return. A, oh now let me think. A garden hermit. One for my arsenal to set up in your circus clown. Okay, sure. Sorry, what? If you want my truck keys, I need a permit so my carnival can set up in your town, mate. Yeah, okay, I understood at that time. Right, off I go to phone the precinct. See you later, perspective. <laughs> I did now. Boy meets grill. Wow. So suddenly, this having half a phone situation is a little bit of a problem. Vibrating bed. It's one of those 50 cent vibrating finger beds. Hello, gorgeous. There's a note saying, I owe you one Bible signed Pastor for Farrelly. I'm not sure that's going to achieve anything. Not with that attitude. I need something to wash them down. I usually go with something powerful like an energy drink. I'm not thirsty right now all right let's go talk to the guy at the, uh, at the reception desk oh so we asked if we could use it for police business uh, fine but you got 30 seconds I swear It's going to go for 30 seconds, isn't it? Oh, or it's waiting for me to click. That could be true, too. Dispatch. Sally, it's me. I need a... Who's me? Sally, it's Detective McQueen. We work together. We're friends. Well, if we're such good friends, how come you didn't ask how I was first? Straight into business. I can go the business route too, you know. I'm sorry, Sally. That was rude of me. How are you? Busy. Too busy for idle chatter. What's up? Can you ask the chief to sign a permit so a carnival can come between lakes? No need. I have pre-signed permits here. Consider it done. Why do you have signed permits just sitting around? Look, do you want the permit or do you want to ask questions? Permit, please. I'll fax it to you.
You received item permit. Oh, Sally. I have your permit. Sorry, your, what was it? Your something something hermit. Oh, that's a week long cruise. Good news. Here's, here are my rubber ducks, bees, knees, truck skis. I appreciate it, but I have to ask, why are you trying to talk like this? Seems like a lot of hassle. It adds an air of authenticity, doesn't it? Does it though? I love the nonsense like that in this game, yes. Hop in, Dooley. Let's go block that sandstorm. This is making me think I might have to finally get back to Quest for Glory 2 and finish that off sometime soon. The truck is blocked enough at the storm to get us near the entrance. This is exciting. Usually people are struggling to get out of museums. Welcome to Trout of This World, the Twin Lakes' Twin Lake Findings Museum. Hello again. Hello again to you too, long time no see. You don't remember me, do you? I am afraid that is where you have got me out. Please forgive me. In my job as tourism officer of Twin Lakes, I meet literally tens of people a year. Try though I do, I cannot remember them all. What was that storm about? You know, I often wonder the same thing about storms, and blizzards, heat waves too. What is it about? What's it all about? But what about this one? Ah, Jamie, this one. This one, they will come and they will ask you about, I told myself. Sadly, I had stepped out to the bathroom. All I know is that a fisherman came to see the place, and by the time the storm came, he was gone. What did he look like? Yellow hair and a mustache, and fisherman clothes, as in clothes that smell like fish. What can you tell us about this place? Well, despite numerous warnings, many people go to Lake Monster to fish. Of course, the very real monster has almost certainly eaten all of the fish. With probably no fish to catch, people dredge up old boots, license plates, terrible artifacts of power, and reverse bicycles. In case they're of value, the mayor wants them all cataloged, and in case they belong to the terrible lake fiend, I, as the head of tourism, Store them as far from the lake as I can. When something is found, I drive it over here. Wait, reverse bicycles? Yes, the frame is made of inflated rubber, and the wheels are metal. Local inventor Claudia Rott invented them to reduce bike congestion across the city. Uh, do you have any merchandise? Oh yes, we sell boots modeled on boots found in the lake. They're very uncomfortable. We also have t-shirts soaked in lake water to give them a unique pungent smell. And hats with our logo on them. Oh, a hat. I want a hat. One hat for the birthday boy, please. Coming right up. So when you set a logo on it, make adventure games again. Get duly a souvenir hat. I meant we have built miniature versions of our logo on top, yes. I love it. Okay, let's dig our way in. So far, I'm digging this case. Aw, oh, man, I thought we needed the dust buster for that. Look at it all, the finest things fished from the bottom of Lake Monster. A bowling ball, a teddy bear. Oh, and look, a knocked over lamp. What kind of bait do you think they used to catch this? Oh, wow, a photo of Bigfoot. That's the picture I took. Wait, you've met Bigfoot? It's fake. Can you introduce me? Sure. Teddy bear? Oh. This guy is starting to make me nervous. <laughs> Speaks for itself, really. Yes, there are no cameras on display here. Stay strong, guys. Somebody will fish one up someday. It says it's the Holy Grail, genuine article, number 3,423 from a limited run of 5,000. Genuine indeed. 
a strange looking lamp with the lid removed. The genie's not in right now. Please leave your wish after the beep. I wish I didn't have to go back to work after this trip. I wonder if this is a real genie's lamp, and if so, where's the genie? That stray magic might explain the sandstorm outside. We should look around. Something that powerful could cause a lot of trouble. We'd better have a look around for it. Hey, this looks like that camp counselor I met. That was Nigel, in a disguise. Oh yeah, boy was it convincing. This claims to be Excalibur. Give me a look. Huh, I can't get it out. A bird skeleton. Reminds me of the time I picked museum locks with some of these. Bird bones. Oh, man. Wow, a two-headed fish. Hmm, I can see the stitch lines. A two-headed fish that can stitch. Even more impressive. That's a pretty ominous looking skull. Yeah, but it's off screen, so we shouldn't pay any attention to it. <laughs> An ominous custom plate. Can't swim. <laughs> Culture Club. Examine all of the museum's contents. Look at all this stuff. I don't think you're meant to take photos. It says so right there on the sign. What are you, the police? Yes, actually. Oh, I just thought your son was dressed up for Halloween. We're the same age, and it's the wrong time of year. Yeah, I guess I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm very flattered. <laughs> okay. Um... What's going on here? So that's all there is to it. Nothing there. This seems like a better place to promote the carnival. Two birds, one stone, all of that. It looks like a prison. It used to be one. Then they started fishing up interesting stuff from Lake Monster, so they released all the criminals to store the stuff here. Makes sense. Museum rules. 1. No licking. Items, building, or other attendees. 2. Theft of display items, only okay for supernatural investigations. 3. No lake monsters. These lights exist so that low-flying planes and UFOs don't crash into towers. This must be where the motel gets its TV signal. Yes, you have to. Super Shake. The amount of fizzing and hissing that caused does not get me excited to drink this later on. Only some kind of mission or quest would get me to drink this. I'm not sure that's going to achieve anything. Hmm. Nope, nothing new. see anything new there. I kind of get the feeling I'm going to want to... Um, oh. 
Hello. Uh, I was going to say I was going to want to shut off the TV that the guy's watching. Look at the jawline on this fellow. So, you're, you're gorgeous, debonair, suave. I was going to say blue. How shallow to only notice the color of my skin. No, I just, it's not so common around here. Where I am from, everyone is blue. Pink faces like you would be odd, but I have the decency not to make a thing of it. I, sorry. So you're the missing genie? Yes, I was minding my own business, drying out some soaked delicates from my lamp skinny dip in your lake, when this man gives me an unsolicited rubbing. Now I'm stuck with him until he makes three new wishes. Usual fare, no extra wishes, nuclear wars off the table, no naughty stuff. I thought I'd escape this life, but I'm stuck with him until he gets he's wished out. Then whoever finds me, the next gets a go. I wish I knew a way to break this cycle and get home to my family. People running around the state with wishes seems dangerous. Maybe we can get this genie home. And maybe we can get them home while we are at it. I just said that. Good, because, you know, it seems like getting wishes off the streets of Twin Lakes would be a good thing. I'm surprised you're so against it. Dooley, I'm not against it. I suggested it. Okay, okay, I won't force your arm. I just think it'd be safer for the city if we helped. And nice to get them home. Where are you from? I'm from the dreams of ancient men, a place of incompatible, incompatible delights and sights. You don't know, do you? Nah, left when I was a kid. How would you get home? I don't know. I've never gotten back. All I know is that I've got to be free of this guy's wishes first. I'm sorry that I can't give you better guidance, but wishes are my realm. For guidance, you need something like a spirit quest. A spirit quest? Yeah, a high-intensity journey into the wilderness. High-intensity? Like, high-energy. People usually mix up a powerful concoction to help them get in the right mindset. I don't know much more, to be honest. Not my kind of thing, but maybe somebody wise can guide you? Wise, eh? Fine, I'll do what I can, but I'm not promising anything. If you need to ask me anything else, you know where to find me, besides wherever Master here goes. Guten Abend, mein Freund. Wow. Good evening. Hello, friend. What a glorious evening. As a child, I'd sit out on evenings like this and think. And then what? I'd just think. You know, thoughts. Who's your friend? This is my good luck charm, my ace in the hole. A third phrase meaning they are good for me to have. With them, I will surely find the best piece of lake junk that has ever been found. Then I'll be on the cover of Lake Junk Monthly. That will undoubtedly lead to a dazzling array of talk show panels and book signings. Not my books, of course. I've not written one. I'll just sign random books. After that, what could life possibly hold for me? I'll grow jaded and weary and travel the world looking for the next lake to fish in, the next piece of junk to find, always hoping to relive past glories. In the end, my mania will overshadow the original find and, and will become solely what I'm known for. Or so I can hope. What brings you to the desert? Well, I'll tell you a story, shall I? I came here to fish something up from your lake and put it in a museum here. Is that the end of your story? Yes. Didn't you like it? It was certainly to the point. What are some random likes and dislikes for no reason? None at all. I don't like being hungry or being too warm, and I'm allergic to ants. They make me itchy. Good to know. On the other hand, I enjoy forcing mystical beings into helping me fish junk to a better standard than I'd otherwise achieve. This has been a co good conversation. Thanks for having it. A bucket of highly chlorinated water from the pool. Hmm, okay. Well, now we know where we use the super shake.
Well, goodbye normal blood pressure. What the hell? Where did that come from? What do you mean? That's been there all along. No, it... Wait, this is how you see the world all the time? Finally, you're here. We thought you weren't going to make it in time. In time? Yes, you're scheduled in for 15 minutes ago. You're lucky we had a cancellation or we'd not have been able to fit you in tonight. Sounds like you run a pretty tight ship. Oh, we have to. The desert is littered with people trying to find themselves these days. You ask me, I think unchecked capitalism has left us in a place where people's identity is based on what value they provide, but advancing technologies leave many of them with nothing to offer. Anyway, shall we get started? Shall we get going to the temple then? Okay. I guess we're going to the ominous pyramid in the middle of the desert. There's nothing I want to do more. Wait, how do we get back from here? We don't, I guess. In we go, I guess. The age-old ritual of entering ominous doorways when we both know better. What is this place? It's an Escher creation, obviously. Huh? Weren't we just here? I don't like this. It's a vault, obviously true. Do we live here now? They will tell tales of us, the temple police, wandering the halls, doling out punishment to any who anger the many-doored god. Finally. Look at this place, a temple to the body, I'm with my people. Duly, they're wolves. Shut it, two legs, I'm a wolf now. <laughs> I'm burning so much energy, I can smell my fur singe. Ooh. Excuse me? Less talking, more pumping. Woo. Who are you? I'm the baddest, meanest, and brightest wolf in the desert. Rockin' Rick Rover, they call me. But you can call me Rockin' Rick Rover, just like everyone else. Woo. Why are you wearing sunglasses at night? Only thing rather than pumping iron is looking cool while pumping iron. What are you doing here? Where else would I be? The motel? Lame. The diner? Lame. The attraction? Lame. If Rick can't pump, then it's a dump. Oh, sorry. Oh, woo. Smell you later, smooth face. Brother, you can do it. Crush that iron. Um, hi? Hey there, brother. You here to bench? I guess I am. That's a shame, brother. The bench is bust. I miss that bench, brother. Who are you? I'm Randy, brother. I'm stronger than any hound around. Wanna arm wrestle? Uh, no. Thanks, though. That's because you know I'll win, brother. No shame in admitting it. I'm the better wolf. In fairness, you are a better wolf than I am. Yeah, brother. Where is this place? This here is the desert gym, brother, where wolves, coyotes, and bison come to work out and unwind. But the rest of those freeloaders haven't come back since Argus broke the lifting bench. Broke it? Yeah, brother. He put the blue weights on the red side and the reds on the blue. The balance is out of whack. Want me to see if I can fix it for you? Hell yeah, brother. I tried, but I'm a wolf. No opposable thumbs. Plus, we're too busy shredding these weights. Whoo. Okay, I'll see what I can do. What are you doing here? Working on these fuzzy pistons. Do you do anything else? Brother, if this world offers something other than working on oneself, I do not want to know. See you around, brother. Okay, let's see if we can get this bench working for these guys. Oh, God. I need to move the weights across to the other side. They're heavy, so I can only move them a step at a time. I can't move them backwards, but I can start again if I need to. Uh, 
Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. I am too tired for this. How the hell does this work? Oh, okay, so I'm actually on the right track. Thank you, Aranor. Except I screwed it up. bring this over here. This is hurting my brain, even with a visual aid. I wish I could pause that. That's closer. Okay, hang on. Okay. Right. And done. Okay, thank you, Aranar. I'm too tired to concentrate on that. My brain is focused on an entirely different type of logic right now. The bench is fixed, guys. 
Great work, brother. I knew if you put your mind to it, you'd get there in the end. Great. I'm uh, still not entirely sure where I'm, why I'm actually here. Oh, I forgot. Brother, we're meant to show you the next part of the journey. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, brother. Hold on tight. Detective, I don't feel so good. It took me way too many attempts myself. Yeah. That extra dimensional. Wow. What? What just happened? Did you see all that, Dooley? What, the gym wolves and the space baby stuff? So it did happen? Of course, we literally just did it. And you're not weirded out by all that? Why would I be? Seemed like a perfectly normal smoke and mirror secret advert to me. Alright, so now what do we do? Yeah, I think the ad was pretty clear. If you want to help the genie get home, we need to stamp that lamp with the special space stamps. Where will I find stamps like that out here in the desert? Wait, what's this in my pocket? Cosmic stamps. Now, how did they get there? Might be best not to think about that too much. That's how I get through these cases. Uh, agreed. But what are they for? Weren't you paying attention? With these, we can get the genie posted home once he's free wish free. Is that what all that meant? Right. Well, let's just go stamp the genie's lamp, I guess. Huh. <laughs> You're a poet and you didn't even know. No it, Dooley. No it. No what? Never mind. Let's go. Some cosmic stamps that appeared in my pocket. We need to stamp the genie's lamp so the cosmic post will collect him and bring him home once he's all wished out. Right. The ad was pretty clear. It was all right there. Right. A hill made of ants. Yes, you have to. I think not. He seems to be occupied. Very much so sketchy, yes. Look at the jawline on this fella. I did the quest. Yeah, any luck? I got these postage stamps. I think they'll get you sent home. Then not to be rude, but what are you talking to me for? Get me parceled up and posted off. If you need to ask me anything else, you know where to find me. Besides wherever Master here goes. Okay, so we gotta find the lamp which we left in the attraction. Uh, what are you doing? Putting the stamp on the lamp. Yeah, but you're using the blue ones. You need to use the red ones. The ad was clear about the postage amount required. Was it? Okay, is that better? Much. Super. Now let's go waste some wishes. It's stamped and ready to go. Now for phase two, getting the genie back into it. Oh, it looks like the gems you usually see. That's hilarious. We need to get Otto to waste his wishes on harmless stuff. Let's get to it. Looks like Otto dropped something. Golden ticket. What's this? Oh, you think you're a big shot now. Well, if he has a golden ticket, you is. In you go, your majesties. This is exciting. God damn it, Narvin. <laughs> As a kid, I used to love these giant bubble machines. The right mix of detergent and kitchen supplies always covered the place with suds. Now my sister makes me use a laundromat. How come these things always seem to eat one sock? 
I'm not sure. That may be a case for a quiet week. Wailing whites. Leaves your sheets white enough for even the pickiest haunting. If I have to wash anything, then this will not feel like a holiday. Detergent. Well, I guess we're trapped in a case now. Laundry basket. I guess if I don't use it, I can hang my coat up in the room. Either way, it'll get used. Hey, I hide my dirty clothes in the dark too. That's no way to spend a vacation. Okay, what happened to Otto? They're inside watching TV. I can get him to waste a wish if he's hungry, but there's no kitchen to feed him. Ah, so we have to disable the cook. I'm taking an early night so as to get up and win the best late gifts in the morning. I need him to get him to burn some wishes, but how do I get him to waste them when he's locked in there? Why don't we figure out a plan over some food in the diner? Dooley, you genius! The answer is food! Yes. Wait, the way you say that makes me think we're not going for pie. No, we need to make him hungry and make sure there's nowhere to order food from. Boom. Wish gone. It's rats and mice, you know. Proper pastry. Okay. Um... Hmm. This could work well as a makeshift glue. All right, let's go around back. Yes, you have to. This should make one cartoonishly crude trap. Rat trap. guy I have some tasty cheese bits for you hand them over then do leave there for the rat can I have them if I dress like a rat <laughs> you received item rat okay let's get this guy in there and shut this place down wait can't we do a police thing to close it too late <laughs> what's this a little rat friend well ho ho hello little guy oh wait you shouldn't be here Hey, Sue, what do we do if there's a rat in the kitchen again? A rat? Damn it, Shoga, I told you before. Every time you see a rat, we gotta shut up shop for the day. Oh, okay. I guess we're clocking off early then. Damn it. I hope this closure doesn't cost you much. Aw, oh, you're a goodie for worrying, but I'm a millionaire. I only do this for funsies. I should really get the elves to fix that vent. Um, I mean, I should fix it myself. I can't believe we were able to get into such an exclusive establishment. I think you may want to rein in those expectations, buddy.
the age-old love story. Nice night for waiting around in case I'm needing, needed in another puzzle later, wouldn't you say? I mean, Doris Day? Ah, forget it. I'm too tired. Hey, are you in there? Yes, mein friend. I'm taking an early night so as to get up and win the best late gifts in the morning. Good night. I need to get him to burn some wishes, but how do I get him to waste them when he's locked in there? Why don't we figure out a plan over some food in the diner? How do we make him hungry? Do you think he'd mind me finishing that off? I'll make sure the city gives you a commendation for your work here. Of course you can bring your family to the ceremony. We'd be thrilled to meet them. I think he, yeah, he left these burgers on. Can't, what, but, uh, mm. Can I not just take the burgers? Syrup. Yeast. that I can take some stuff, but not the stuff that's going to explode and burn. Okay. I'd rather find a way to get the ants out than to glue them in. See, I was thinking cover the coat hanger in syrup and get some of the ants stuck on it so I can take them with me, but there's probably a better way. Hang on a second. This should mess with this TV signal. There we go. What are you watching? None of your business, that's what. Ah, but there's a burger on the TV. That might contribute to making him hungry. Window? The channels appear to be broken. All I can see is food. Thank you, Aaron Lar. Delicious food. I'm hungry now. Think I'll call room service. Hello? I'd like one food, please. <laughs> Kitchen's closed. Not because of rats or anything, just closed. What's it to you? How oddly specific. Anyway, I'm hungry. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, I know. Genie? Yes? One food, please. As you wish. Look at all this food and all the bratwurst a boy could eat. One wish down, but if I want to burn more wishes, I think I'm going to need him to get, get him out of his room. Three minute warning, guys. We're going to have a break in three minutes.
Oh, okay, let's see. We can go in the mystery door. We never did figure out the stuff with the pool. Bucket of highly chlorinated water. See, I would love to just take the bucket without the water. Aircon powering down. Let's go see if that worked. Boy, is it hot all of a sudden. I came out here to cool off. How go my escape plans? I'm working on it. I don't mean to rush you, but I don't want to have to watch him change clothes again. <laughs> Come join me in the water. It's adequate. Ah, hang on. He's using the pool to cool off. Therefore, we want to sabotage the boiler somehow. I don't think I should change this back until my work here is done. I was thinking more turn off the boiler. Can't dump that in the pool. Hmm. Could have been fun. Oh well. We need to find a way into his room while he's distracted at the pool. Didn't you pick a lock before? Just do that again. Easy. Yes, but I... Well, I was going to say I had the right tools then, but I guess I just had tools. The old bones trick. Okay, that's going to actually have to wait a minute. I need to take that break now, so if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a really good time, and I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five. Oh my god, they just... Oh, <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh, it's a... Uh, wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. Was super fun. Uh... Hang on, hang on. We need to examine this air. Oh. So uncivilized. No kidding. You said it, Obi-Wan. Technically, we're into November Sniper now. ambush. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Oh, shit. Not now. Add snipers to the list, apparently. Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I've <Kurt. laughs> Oops. So I don't suppose this decorative pool has any special science stuff to it. Hey, rude. What the hell?
gotcha. Oh my god, am I going to do it? I think I'm gonna do it, guys. No! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Ah! What are you looking so smugly self-satisfied for? You just failed. What's wrong with... <laughs> oh, God. Ah. <sighs> Oh! We're continuing the tradition of Star Wars characters losing hands, then. Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. I don't know if you're aware of this. Oh! Wow. Okay. Maybe I'll get one more stamina bar before we try that again. <laughs> oh, oh no. It's fine. That was very discreet. Master of stealth. Right. Now just a bit more. <laughs> uh oh. Auto drive now disabled. I'd better back off. <laughs> I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That's amazing. I have no choice. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no, where- oh shoot. Oh, that's awkward. Let me control it, thank you. <laughs> I thought I lost it. Okay, did I miss something? Why is Serana murdering me? Oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Ah. I shouldn't have said anything. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, why? Chat, why? Get back here. No. Don't get back here. What the fuck? play the game this time. Thank you, Vera. Thank you, Sketchy. Thank you, Aranor. Breaking into people's rooms and going through their stuff? This is the best birthday ever. Let's try finding some clues for things he'd waste wishes on. Otto's clothes. He's got good taste. It's all expensive designer stuff. Yeah, nice clothes. Shame if something was to happen to them. But he just washed them again. Unless... I love where this is going. I 
I don't have enough syrup to cover all his stuff, and I don't want to half-ass this. Why not? We deal with all our other plans. Looks like Otto is hoping to fish out something museum-worthy on this trip. I might borrow this for a moment. Might? Yeah, I'm taking it. Oh, it's one of those fish that sing. I wonder what song it is. I'm Saul the Summoning Salmon, here to make conjuring up your favorite extra planar being fun. To bring forth Mesototh the Bug Licker, draw ye first a pentagram using the bluff. Aw, oh, why'd you turn it off, detective? <laughs> it looks like his wish got him a nice meal, at least. There's a label that says power switch for Twin Lakes Hospital. Do not turn off. That can't be right, but I'm not risking it. His phone works. Fancy. There's a tube of antihistamine for ant bites called antihistamine. He must be allergic to ants. Uh-huh. Can we take that? Ugh, this drawer is full of dead spiders. Could be worse. They could all be alive. How come he got a TV in his room? No fair. Remind me to turn these back on later. Okay. Hey, JH, how's it going? It's good to see you. Mm, okay, not much left in here. Lawkeeper JHTDW just advanced. 75 months. Have you heard about the Classic Painters subscription box? It's a pay as you Van Gogh model. Oh, look, I has one of these too. So many <laughs> months. Maya Gasp. How's it going, Jage? It's good to see you. 75 freaking months. It blows my mind that people have subbed for that long. How's your weekend going? I hope all is doing well for you. Sea fish and eat it. Cod's chosen people and fish and chips all sound delicious. No, they don't. No, they don't. Time keeps flying for me, but at least only one work week to go and then a couple of weeks off. Oh, that's awesome. Any special plans for the time off? I mean, I guess it has to do with the holidays, right? Lots of sleep? Hey, that sounds like a plan to me. Okay. It goes quite the way in, but the ants aren't interested. I need something that lures them in and ideally traps them. Try a job in the police force. Wow, Dooley. A long, thin rod covered in honey. Syruped rod. They seem to be going for it. Okay, that's enough ants for my needs. I now have ants in my pants, and contrary to the widely held belief, they've left me with no urge to dance. Wish you didn't have to go back to work. Yeah. This is horrible, but less horrible than world-altering magical wishes. 
How bad could a wish be, really? Well, rumor has it that we used to have summer all around till one guy wished it wasn't so hot all the time. I think I hate that guy. <laughs> okay, now I better make sure that he can't wash them. See, we need to get rid of that ant e-histamine. Damn it, Gord making that wish. I definitely would make that wish. All right, to the fuse box. Um. Okay, sabotage the machine with too much soap, maybe? I need to do something to the detergent first if I wanted to overload the machine. These two together should give me something powerful. Suds mix. Here goes nothing. We need to get out of here. Well, that's the machines ruined. Hey, what'd you say? <laughs> nothing. With his clothes infested, he should want to use these as soon as he gets back to his room. I just have to get him there. Surely someone around here can help me. Oh, what did he say? Might need help on this one because I'm pretty sure I missed an important piece of dialogue. Nope, there's no transcript that I. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no. Sadly, no transcript. Obviously, the three days of mom visiting, and I guess we're going to visit my fave aunt in the nursing home thing. Oh, very nice, J.H. Sorry, I almost missed that, but it was still there. Two. It was two. It's not that hard to remember. Two. Now get. Okay. It's not broken. It's uh, lowering its, how you say, carbon footprint. What? You hate the planet so much you'd rather it died than you sweated some? I feel bad for not sweating more now. <laughs> Been busy with JJ watching It's Already Over and you've only watched one day fully? How? What, what do you mean? What is JJ watching? And playing their games to 82 games and you still bought one extra? Oh, wait a minute. You're talking about the Jingle Jam. It's been a minute since I watched the Jingle Jam. I hope it's going well. Crap. 
trap. If we want him back in his room, should we not flip the circuit breaker? Oh, okay, hang on. Hey, how do you get rid of customers who hang around after closing? We have a saying in the business, bag of crows, take this and throw it at them. Bag of crows, off he goes. Uh-huh. Mystery sack. Vince tells me that they throw whatever is in this sack at people when they need them to leave quickly. I wonder what's inside. I'm having such a relaxing evening. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> ah, what's happening? Get me out of here. I wish it. As you command. Well, that was an unexpected freebie. What happened out there? I think you were attacked by birds. Ugh, I'm starting to hate this place. I just want to put on some pajamas and go to bed. Ah, there are ants in my pants. Hello, reception? I wish to put my clothes in for a washing, please. Ugh, why do you keep calling up to use services that until five minutes prior? We're working fine. Is this some kind of elaborate prank? Is the laundry room work not working? What? Uh, of course it is. I'm just using it right now to clean my clean my suds, that's all. And right now I gotta go put a new batch of suds on. What a disaster. I wish my pants had no ants. Is that a legit for real wish? Oh yes, it is, it is. Done. And with that I am free. Sayonara, sucker. Aw, my wish is. I'm so excited to go home. Never got around to it? Yeah, Winters. Oh, what was his first wish? Oh, he wished for food. We made him hungry and he needed to wish for food. What's this? A message. I wish I didn't have to go back to work after this trip. Why not, guy? You two were good to me. Granted. Well, I'm out of here. Spectral delivery. Well, that's that taken care of. Ready to go check out the attraction properly now, Dooley? Dooley? Where did you go, Dooley? Dooley? Dooley! Dooley! Something seems... What's a word for not right? This is fine. Oh no. To be continued. All bottled up. Oh no, that's literally it. We're done. What a cliffhanger. That's the end of this game, yes. That was really good. However, in as much as that was the end of that particular game, there is a little more. Just give me one moment. Pineapple home computer system. Wow. Missing presumed dark side. Case summary. I gotta, I gotta find Dooley. 
<laughs> 666, yes. How's that? Is that better? Yes, it is, JH. This is the sequel. That's better? Okay. It's been one year since my partner, Officer Dooley, went missing from the motel. Dooley? Dooley! I have an idea where he's ended up. So I've been chasing up on old leads. The portal here is still locked down. Dooley, where are you? And started chasing new leads too. Have you seen this man? Sorry, it's hard to see anything through all this smoke. Are you in there, Dooley? I've run out of official avenues to pursue, so I've... ...taken some time off to search on my own. So I am asking for your help. Maybe you've seen something that will help me find my friend. Maybe you have a strange glow in your backyard. Maybe there's an odd energy in your workplace, or perhaps some food has been going missing from your fridge. Anything at all, just reach out to me via the station. Please, I need your help, Twin Lights. That's some heartfelt pleading. And now on TLTV, we have a squirrel who can count. Get off the stage. And now on Dick Brickman's morning, morning Glory, a squirrel who's just nuts about numbers. How was it? It went well. Come on, let's go. Sorry to hear about Dooley. I'll edit some really sad music over that piece. Pull on the heartstrings. You'll have cranks calling you about all sorts of weird stuff in no time. That's very much a mixed blessing. So do I just... please. What... what am I doing here? You're on Dick Berkman's Morning Glory, Twin Lakes' premier and only live morning talk show. This is the weirdest first date I've ever been on. <laughs> date? What? You brought your mathematical squirrel to us to highlight his numerical skills on almost more or less live TV. I met the squirrel through the classified ads. I... I thought he was a person. Poor wee guy is pointing at his mouth and rubbing his belly. Is he miming the answer? I don't understand. What number is that? Two? Looks like it's the storage room. You can't fire me. I can and I have. If you were such a good psychic, you'd have known not to come into work today. Get out of here. Nobody's there. An empty can of paint. Looks like they're freshening up this room. Go away. No stars here. I downsized the staff into one room so I could have an ensuite. Detective, there you are. Hello? Wondering how I knew your name? That's not my name. I said job. 
I was just on the show because I am Madame Le Meg, Twin Lakes' finest psychic. A skeptic, I see. Try this on for size. I know you're searching for somebody. Your partner, Peter Donnelly. His name is Patrick Dooley. That's what I said. And again, I was just on the show. Fine, I saw your plea on the TV in my boss's office, but I am psychic and I can help. I know a place that lets people contact the other side. He's not dead. No, the other other side. Okay, what is this place? I can't tell you. I have to bring you. Let's go then. We can't. We can't? We can't. Not yet. My stuff is still locked up inside the storage room. Okay, let's get it and go. I left my key in the dressing room and I can't go in there. My replacement is here already. Embarrassing, right? Oh, tell you what. You get my stuff and I'll meet you out by your... Hold on. I'm getting a vision. I'm seeing a police car. Well, obviously. I'm a police off. Super. See you there. With my bag. Ciao. Do you think these are made out of real stardust? You know that's unlikely, right? I'm still taking it. Star Star. Oh, I thought we were meeting outside. Huh? A moment ago when we spoke, you said, This is a different person, detective. Oh, oh, oh. That crystal is melite. It helps people with a sense of fashion. Actually, you should take it. You received an item, Melite. The centerpiece of my psychic's arsenal. Sure, people want their cards read, but they want to they want to see a crystal ball. Aren't they divine? My fans, the ball heads, they'd kill for me. I even had a vision of one doing so once. Can I get this person's name and address, please? All psychics look the same to us. I'm wondering if they're brother and or uh, yeah. Brother and sister, probably sisters. That's me and my ball heads at last year's Psycon. I signed so many balls that day. They write to me for advice, my fans. I don't reply, of course. Never work for free. What a colorful range of makeup. Sadly, I share this room with anyone going on TV, from presenters to clowns. Ugh, clowns. I know. They should treat a star like me with real respect. Flowers from the station manager to welcome me to the new job. Welcome, new employee. It's the personal touch that I appreciate. That must be the lockbox key that Meg mentioned. Hands off, that's for employees only. Hands off, cowboy. This is a Mac, not a duster. Nah, I'm not saying you're dressed like a cowboy, I'm just calling you one. Like a clown or fool, only nicer. Except for now that I've explained it, it's not so nice. Oh well. But yeah, keep those gunslinging hands to yourself. Again, not a cowboy. I know, cop. I can't get by Marv, okay. I think this is meant to be a list of people who work here, but it's just gibberish. Yes, the station manager doesn't like fans reaching out to him or the performers. He believes that they perform better when their attention starved. The plaque says this is the time. The time in 10 minutes. 15 minutes from now. 25 minutes time. A bit. I have nothing to say, nothing funny to say about this. Sign here, please. Mm, sure. Thanks. Enjoy your delivery. Oh. You received item delivery box. A box addressed to Mystic Mystique. There's an interesting clinking from inside it, but it's taped up too tightly to check its contents. This plant is called the Wilting Tony. That's a drooping willoughby tree. How do you know so much about plants? Private reasons. Thanks for coming with, Raxa. I know you can't have much time between college and busting spooks. 
It's the least I could do. You guys saved my life after all. And I wouldn't even be in Spooktoring if it wasn't for you two. Frankly, life's been way more interesting since I met you both. I want to find Dooley and keep investigating the weird goings-on in this city. Speaking of which, we should get back to work. We have a case to solve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're new. Yeah, the last guy got possessed. Really worked out for him, though. The ghost has gotten him promoted to regional manager. <laughs> The Blood Wolves? What are you doing here? We saw you on the TV. We're here to do a help. How did it go? Well, it certainly went. I can say that much. Who's the lady in the car? Are you kidnapping her for interrogation? Can I waterboard her? She's a psychic. She says she can help find Dooley. I just have to get some stuff for her. Can I still waterboard her? Stripped of all its glory, now it's just the motto. The motto. Mom and Dodd said I'm no Sorry, Dodd? You mean Dad? I prefer the consistency of Mom and Dodd. They want to know if you have police clearance for minding kids, and also if you have insurance for minding kids, and also what courses you have done for minding kids. Do I need to ring them or something? No, they're over there because they didn't want to leave me unattended by them. Also, what's an incompetent? Is it your police rank? Yep, it's very much a comedy, J.H. Sorry to drag you away from whatever fun teenager thing you were doing. It's mostly brooding these days, which upside is an easy hobby to bring anywhere. I like what you've done with the car, but if you wanted it bashed up professionally, you only had to ask. P is for a police car, because that's what's parked here. Why is there a kid jumping on this car? Maybe I picked the wrong cop to help? Jumping is helping, lady. I guess I can go now. Or not. <laughs> In case of fire burn. I think they've upgraded a lot of the visuals and audio in this game, even though they've kept the kind of basic pixel style. It looks really good. Can I get past... This is it, Marv. Your chance to get that perfect shot. I just need to get it... The shot that knows those Hollywood... That shows those Hollywood big shots. That you're the man to call for any squirrel-related blockbusters. Uptown Squirrel. Gone Squirrel. The Squirrel with the Dragon Tattoo. Mean Squirrels. I would go on, but I'm talking to myself and I should be focusing on the shot. <coughs> I'll just give him a moment to wrap things up here. Damn it, Squirrel, do your thing. How am I meant to get that golden shot if you won't do your thing? I guess if I want it in this storage room, I'm gonna have to help with that squirrel. Is this what a normal day is like for you? Pretty much. I don't recall what I was trying to do there. We couldn't decide if Morning Glory looked better with or without a bush. Equipment storage only. Please stop leaving stray animals in here. Nothing else in the bin. Well, technically, there never was anything in the bin. So, she's right there, just sitting in the car, just carrying on as if that's normal. 
entirely ignoring the kid jumping on the roof, which would have made getting in really difficult. This is gonna be someday. Someday indeed. I haven't actually really talked to Raxel all that often. What do you make of that then? I am, um, uh, yeah, sounds like rubbish to me too. But, yeah, only lead, only lead. Exactly, not much to lose really. Uh, no, she's a friend, also in the in during business. We met her in a couple of the missions in the first game early on. What's four plus five, little fella? Uh, three minus one? What's seven? Just tap your foot seven times. So he wants food. There's probably food in the delivery box. I need something to open it, though. Sorry, can't talk. Getting ready for my new show and don't have time for non-fans. Oh look, a didgeridoo. Don't mind if I do. A wind instrument of the Aboriginal people. I'm not sure how that helps us. Missing something with that plan. A box addressed to Mystic Mystique. There's an interesting clinking from inside it, but it's taped up too tightly to check its contents. trees does not make this Sunset Boulevard. The number two news outlet in town. Impressive since it's the only outlet in town. <laughs> oh boy, okay. So we have to help the squirrel to help Marv to get into the door to probably open the box to do something. I don't know. Hmm, it's a federal offense to open somebody else's mail. Just as well you don't work for the FBI then, right? Glass bowls. A collection of fish bowls. She'd think I'm a crystal baller. Oh, these look just like what my fans wear. Why, I'd think you were fans yourselves if you weren't so old. I'm not old. So very old. I'm younger than you. Sorry, I can't hear your ancient and broken old people voices. I'm surprised dust didn't shoot out as you spoke. She reminds me of somebody, Aaron Lar.
by the way, I've noticed a recurring theme in this game where it's always 9 o'clock in every single mission, every case, every clock we see, it's always 9 o'clock. discuss what weather is but don't forecast it and the economical no prize lotto lights on i guess i can't enter I believe it was in the dressing room, right about here, or something. That's just some flattened out aluminum foil. Public access doesn't have the budget for real mirrors. Getting awfully close to three o'clock in the morning, guys. I might have to finish this next time. Okay. I think, yeah, we're, we're going to have to leave off here. I am clearly getting too tired to solve these. But we can go find somebody else and go hang out with them. We will play some more of this again very soon, though. Uh, thank you for being here, JH. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate it. This is a really fun game series. I'm glad I picked it up again. I can't believe I let it go almost a year without playing. But uh, we will get back to it a lot sooner than a year from now. That's for sure. I might keep it to the, um, what you call it, the bonus streams. Thank you for being here, Hammer. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you hanging out here. Uh, let me see. Who do we have live tonight? Looks like Hodon Kane is playing some Warframe. Lax is playing some Batman Arkham Knight. Draven is playing Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Bunny Tokyo is playing Baldur's Gate. Oh, she's in Act 3, though. I might want to avoid that until I've completed a playthrough myself. Rhubarb is playing something called Jisatsu.
Kernobi, we know her through, or at least I know her. I'm, have we rated her before? I'm not sure. I've hung out with her a little bit before. We know it through Ultra's channel. She's playing some Starfield. Mandy's on. T with Mandy is playing Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, which looks really, really good. Paige the Witch is playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. What if Julia is playing Lethal Company? Kern is having a lot of fun tonight. We could go hang out with her. We don't get to raid her very often. It's probably good to raid newer people every once in a while. Need to head to bed yourself? Yeah. All right, let's get over to... Yeah, I think we've raided Kern once before. So let's get over to hers, her channel, see what's going on with her. So we are going to raid Kernobi. There is her link. And here is the raid call. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it, folks. Here at the Library of Lore, we use shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote, and the shh emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid emote. In either case, sub or non sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, or maybe from another streamer, even from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message. Arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Kernobi's channel, see what's going on with her, how Starfield is treating her. Find out if she has done the new game plus thing yet. I'm sure by now she must have. She really seems to like this game. Now I will catch you guys again on Tuesday for sure. And I will of course let you know in Discord if I'm going to be doing another bonus stream at some point over the next few days. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I will catch you again real soon. What's up, Gord? Thanks for the raid, dude. Welcome, raiders. Hello, uh, Arnlor. Shh, it's a library raid. Okay, okay, shh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh, you've been bookmarked, y'all. Do we have to be quiet? I don't want to be quiet. How's it going, Gord? Thank you so much for the raid. How's Starfield going? We are, um, we're currently achievement hunting. We are 47 out of 50. One of them is bug. We should have already had that. It's going good. Playing some 
some dark side detective. What's dark side detective? Yo, get out of my face, man. We're about to start a war. Where do you get reactive uh, gauges? We're 300 hours now. Are we? Beam, why are you always lying? Let's go, let's go see if we can make a reactive gauge. Can we make, can I make a reactive gauge? It's an old school retro style point and click adventure game, super supernatural comedy thing. Oh, that sounds interesting, Gord. Gord McLord, or Leord. Uh, dude, I can never say your name. I always want to say Gord McLord. Um, 